What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dre Means. Coming to you on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Arkansas time, beautiful fall weather. We just want to talk about the new book project that's coming out this winter called Thoughts of a Prince. Make sure that you keep your eyes open for it. I'm going to be releasing quotes, poems, uh, little little art pictures that are featured in the book. And also, I want to give a shout out to the two artists that work so hard on the book. Patrick Onebo and my homie Kobot. They did, they came together and they collaborated and did some wonderful work for the book. So today we're just going to go through the preface. I'm going to read to y'all the preface and y'all make sure y'all let me know how you feel about it. Uh, leave comments, message me, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about the book. If you have any questions for me, feel free to hit me up, whatever it might be. Um, we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to read to you, Thoughts of a Prince, the preface. As I stare into the mirror... I wonder if I truly exist. The thoughts of heaven and hell, life and death run through my mind, forcing my heart to race, as if I was going to die at this very moment. The images of guns, drugs, and violence parade around my imagination as the void of darkness and misunderstanding grasps my very being. Is this what life truly is? Is there nothing more than the sounds of gunfire in the once peaceful summer noon, followed by the sirens of a police cruiser racing to discover another concrete victim? Is there a future for me, a young soul thrust into a world of suffocating hopelessness and death? The year is 1997, and I am six years old, living in the amazing city of Hot Springs, Arkansas. My earliest and most vivid memories are those spent in the projects of downtown Hot Springs, where drug dealing and baby making is a way of life, where the fear of the police is an understood notion, and the hope of a better tomorrow is always two steps out of reach. My only sense of peace was the warm feeling of my grandmother's home, the scent of her full-flavored basic 100s filling the living room as we read the morning paper together and drink coffee. The morning sun reaches the plants on the windowsill and it's time to start breakfast. The only chance I am able to become an adventurous and pure soul is pretending to be a commando on the bedroom floor while Granny sits in her rocking chair and works on Mrs. White's alterations for her new summer pants. The adventure of a newfound curiosity awaits outside as I pick fresh trees off of Mr. White's tree until the oh so familiar sounds of tires screeching and the thunderous pop forces me back into the house, back to reality. The questions of why are only being described in the stories they teach in Sunday morning Bible study. Granny always made me go to church with her and we always had to be there early. There was nothing she loved more than cooking for the church and listening to the teacher brag about how well I memorized the Sunday scripture or how impressed she was that I understood the lessons of the old tales. And even though I heard the preacher preach and I knew the words all too well, nothing in church ever explained why I was cursed to live a life in such a world or why I was here at all. So I began to look up to the sky and ask the tough questions that no one in any era of life could answer. Not my homies in the street, nor could the preacher in the pulpit answer with truth and honesty. This is not something suggesting that I have discovered the answers to all powerful wisdom. This is not a book claiming that I'm anything other than a normal human being just like you. This is a simple collection of my journal writings, which contains prose, poems, and random thoughts. These are close to me and were written from the time I was 17 up until the present day. I am sharing this with you, the reader, to express something to your heart. Then I looked up to the sky and asked my questions. I didn't always hear a voice but always got answers. So walk with me as we take a journey through the thoughts of a boy who realized he was a prince and then started to become a man. That's the preface. Make sure you let me know what you think. Make sure you leave the comments. Have not family. Y'all have a good, beautiful day.